Hello, it's um, Jamie here, and I just thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a, a little bit of help if anyone is in the same position as I am. Um, I bought this Saab 900 because I've always been interested in owning a Saab, but the seller did not tell me that I had to replace and repair the alternator. So I tried to look on YouTube to see if there were any DIY stuff I could do to get rid of it and repair it and everything like that. And there is one from a first-person Saab repair. Um, and while it is very good and it actually did help me a lot, I thought it would be a little nice if someone could give me something a little bit more hands-on. So I thought I would kind of show you guys what you're going to be dealing with. Maybe you could use this video in conjunction with the first-person Saab repairs, you know, montage of pictures and stuff. So removing the alternator in a Saab 900 it seems pretty difficult I'm a, I'm a novice mechanic but my buddy who is a professional he could do it pretty quickly so I, you know it's difficult if you're new to this but I'm sure if you're a bit more seasoned like he is you'll kind of know what to do so the Saab um, the alternator sorry in this car is kind of in a very odd spot you can't really reach it from the bottom and it's difficult to reach it from the top this is my refurbished one it's almost done getting put back in um, so I can't really take it out and actually show you guys but I can show you guys which bolts to undo so you're gonna want to start off there's a tube here this is an intake tube right here I can show you real quick it's a uh, large plastic intake for the turbocharger if you have a turbocharged model like mine you're just gonna want to get rid of that because it's gonna give you you know about this much room just to work because you're gonna have to get in here um, you're also gonna want to unbolt these um, or not you know unscrew these two hoses from their mounts right here uh, remember where those go because one of those has coolant in it and those I, I believe are for the air conditioning but you're just gonna want to get those and push those off to the side because it's gonna make it easier to work down here and already it's even with that done it's still a pretty tight squeeze so I would say um, the alternator is based a lot around just which bolts to unbolt and which not to. Uh, it does come down to just unbolting stuff, which, you know, it sounds pretty easy, but you have to make sure that you're, uh, you have the right tools that can reach down there and stuff. That's what's really difficult about this job is squeezing like sockets and wrenches into very small spaces so there's going to be a bolt top up top here this is um this one is very rather difficult to remove i would wait until the alternator's out to get or almost out to get this out that's the first one um there's an allen uh let's see if we can find it here there's an allen uh bolt right here that is pretty accessible and then under the alternator about right here there's another Allen bolt. Um, you'll see this better in the first person Saab repairs video. Um, you have to worry about that one. There's a There are two bolts in line behind this whole assembly. Um, you gotta take one of those out because that'll uh, grant a little bit more movement in the whole bracket. This piece, this kind of, um, what's the phrase? Like a uh, parallelogram. It's kind of like that shaped. This moves once you unbolt everything. So you got to remember that, that this is a movable piece. This is a separate piece from the rest of this, like, AC bracket. Um, you're going to want to get rid of that. There are two bolts up here. This is the, for the tensioner in the thing. I don't have them installed right now. But as you can see, they kind of, like, you know, latches onto the alternator like that. You want to get rid of those. That'll grant you some more movement. Then, the last bolt, and this one is the biggest pain in the ass of them all. There's a hinge bolt right here. Now, on the other side of this, there's a nut. And it's, like, buried. It might as well be in Narnia, for all we know. You've got to get a... What I had best of luck with was using a socket on one side and a breaker bar on the other and you just take it and you gotta just it out. Um, and once you do that and you loosen up this bolt, it's not really gonna reach, it's gonna hit the firewall. So 
Hopefully, if you've gotten all the other bolts removed, you can just pivot this whole thing, get the hinge bolt out, and then yank the alternator out. Of course, by then you have to remove all the electrical stuff. You know, that's, you, you know that. But the main thing you just want to get all the bolts out so this thing can move, rotate it, you know, and just kind of finagle it out of the bracket. That was the way I did it. It took me a long time, but I'm not very good at this kind of stuff. Um, and really, according to the Saab 900 official service manual, you know, putting it back in is just the inverse. So, I mean, hopefully this kind of helped. I was just thinking it would be better for someone just to illustrate it than just pictures. You know, um, the first person Saab repair video, he goes a lot better into detail of just explaining like what each bolt looks like. I just wanted to show you in relation to the whole car. You're going to be working like about right here. Um, so if that helps, hopefully that'll help a little bit. But yeah, um, I'm going to try making more videos about this car. I really like it so far, even though it's only driven for about 20 minutes before the alternator killed it. So hopefully I'll make some more videos about it. All right, thank you.